guys, so it's Summer here, making another video. Oh my god, I have been gone for such a long time. I've been gone for like six months uh, from YouTube anyways. Um, and that is because I have been busy with these secrets that I've kept from you guys for six months. No, I'm not pregnant. No one started that rumor. Um, but what I've been keeping from you guys for six months is that I have a job now. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about that today. So, in the beginning of the year, um, my friend, um, Tony, hey, if you see this, he told me about a company that he worked with to, that, that, helped, that helped him get his job, and uh, the company is called Seguin Services. I don't know if they're just based here in Chicago, but they're based here in Chicago. Um, and basically, like, they help people with, um, disabilities, you know, um, get jobs and so he gave me their information and I then you know got in contact with them and then a uh, then I um you know set up a, an interview to meet with an employee referral I think they're called and so I met with him and he asked me you know what I wanted to do work-wise what I think I could I could do you know based on you know what my eligibility like you know allows me to do and I told him that like I wanted to do like you know obviously like not no manual labor just you know type of like office work you know just anything that I could like you know just use more of my brain than physical labor <laughs> and so you know we you know after the interview he he was like okay well I'm gonna like you know look for look, look for jobs for you you know based on what we discussed and so he did and, um, he, he, I think he, he, like, found me a few things before I, uh, got the job that he, uh, before I got the job that, you know, I was meant to have. Um, he helped me, like, um, he referred me to, like, a, like, um, like, to two call center jobs where, like, I would be, like, answering calls and, like, transferring them. Um, for one of them, I just, you know, had, like, like a, like a, I just, I just applied for it, but I never got a call back, and then for another one, I actually, like, went in person to a job fair that this job had, um, but, um, I didn't get it because, but I don't blame them for not hiring me because I was super awkward, um, in the interview and just not with it, <laughs> so I wasn't expecting to get that job, um, but the third try ended up being the charm for me as they say or however they say it um so i'm not gonna tell you guys where i work because we all know that my life is weird and weird people follow me but i'm gonna try to explain to you guys what i do kind of and um more importantly i'm gonna tell you like you know how it all happened for me so um my employee re my employee re referral um person <laughs> Uh, told me that they were hiring at the job that I have now and that they were having a job fair but um I was just so traumatized from the interview that I had for that prior job that I was trying to get that I was like oh I don't know if I want to do this again um because he told me that like there was two options like I can, I can go to like this job fair in person or I can just like um I guess like um apply online and then just like set up like a phone interview and I was like I mean I'm awkward on the phone too but like I'll, I'd rather do that um, so I did that. Um, I applied and then I was scheduled a phone interview. Um, and the phone interview I thought went horrible. I thought I was so awkward and cringy. So after it, I was like, I'm never gonna get a call back. Like, they're not gonna want to work with me anymore. Like, I'm so cringy. <laughs> um, but to my surprise, they, I think, sent me an email um saying that, that they want to continue you know this process of you know hiring me possibly and so the next thing that i was set was a real interview in person and uh, so um the day of my interview comes and i love my mom to death but my mom's those kind of people that like you cannot rely on them to be on time let alone early like if there's one good thing i appreciate that i got from from my father is that he is not on time to things he's early to things and my mom just 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 does not hold that trait so 
we were um late like super late to this interview and like on our way there i was like we shouldn't even go anymore like they're not gonna see me anymore they're, they're gonna think they're gonna think i'm like just so unprofessional and like not even want to see me and my mom was like no let's just go you never know and i'm like okay whatever but and so i was just like I was like, I'm not gonna get this. I'm not gonna get this job. Like, whatever. So I get to the interview, and um, my who would end up being my manager? Well, one of them. I have like four. <laughs> um. Uh, he was like uh, talking to two girls about like what was expected of the job and like kind of like what it was all about. And so when I get there, he's like, well, I'm not going to go back on what I've already said because, you know, you're late. So you're just going to like, you know, I guess like, um, plug yourself in, which I understood. Like, you know, like you shouldn't kind of give me the like, social privileges because I'm late. So I just kind of like, you know, jumped into where they were and, um, then, um, uh, so then he like, after he like explains like the general stuff, he then uh, um, has like um, individual interviews with, with each of us and like because I was late he like made me go last but it's okay whatever. Um, and so he interviews me last and um, he asked me things about my editability like how I um, deal with it in my day to day life and like how I deal with it like out in the community and like I asked him like if he thinks like there's like positions that I could do in this job well and, and then he was like he was like yeah okay, there's a few things you know that you could do hence why we you know wanted to continue you know the you know interview process with you and so yeah we talk about you know what the job entails more um, and at the end of the interview he is like he's like okay well I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm gonna do the job I think I'm gonna hire you and I swear to you I like space out like I did not think I was hearing him right I'm like I'm like oh my god really like oh my gosh thank you so much like I did not think I was gonna get this job at all because I was late and like also the phone interview that, that I had you know prior to, prior to the real interview was like not just not great um so I was super surprised when I got this uh when I got my uh when I was when, when I was hired um but I did and it was like really really exciting for me and so what happened after that was you know I had to get I had to get like a background check and you know go through all that legal process to make sure that like you know I'm I guess like safe to work around and stuff um and um after that I had orientation once everything got approved and like you know they saw I was good to go and um yeah, like right away, like I just felt like very welcomed at orientation, and like I had like a place there, so it, w it was a really nice feeling. Um, what ended up being, you know, my coworkers were like super welcoming as well. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> and what else? Oh, and so orientation was great. Um, and then I think like the very next day we had location training which is where you would see like what uh location you would work in and like you know how to do what you're supposed to do and um and then i think like the next day after like things moved on really quickly after, after like my background check was approved um i think after that i started to work immediately after the after the location training um and so it was so my first day um um, I had a trainer, so, you know, she would teach me, like, how to do what I do, um, which, I don't know if I should tell you guys what I do, because I, I don't know if it'll give it away, but, I don't know, so, but what, I'll tell you anyways, um, so what I do is I scan in six memberships, um, it's all you, it's all you get for now, I will tell you guys one day, eventually, what I, where it is that I work, and, you know, what exactly, what exactly I did, but, that's basically like 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 the whole gist of it. I scan and take memberships for, you know, for entry. Um, and so it's not hard what I do, but like there's like a lot to learn in the beginning. So I was telling you know the girl who trained me, I was like, I'm never gonna get this. This is so hard. 
um, to like learn all of it. And then she was like, no, that that's, that's how I felt in the, in the beginning too, but like, don't worry, like you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. And I was like, okay, girl, I trust you. And funny enough, like I told her like right away that I'm on YouTube, like, like I wasn't planning to tell anyone I'm on YouTube because like, it's just like a random thing to just be like, hi, by the way, I'm on YouTube. But I did, and then she said, she said it was cool, and then that she was gonna subscribe to me, which I hope you did, girl. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, like, um, it's really funny, cause like, in my job anyways, like, you literally become so close to someone in like one day. Like, like you work with, you work with, with someone for, for like one day, and like, you're, autom you're automatically friends and like go out to like bars together or just hang out in general like it's crazy it's crazy like how close I, I've gotten to people after like just like one day of, wor of working with them um so I've met like a lot of good people who have come and gone unfortunately because that's just how my job is like people just come and go a lot there but um I'm really grateful for like everyone that I've met um one of my supervisors is like my best friend there one is like a mom to me there so yeah, I've just met like really good people and because I know that you're all wondering, yes, I've had crushes there and situationships and like whatever, but we're, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna, gonna, gonna get into that right now because that's a whole other separate story that I'll tell you guys about later on. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good experience. Um, it's, me, it's honestly given me like a new sense of like independence and like freedom and it's been really fun having like work friends who like they're not just work friends like i've made friends who like i know like are friends friends and like we like go out and like go to like bars and clubs and it's just been like i don't know it's been really gr great and like i'm really grateful for everyone i've met and like the experience in general and um yeah hopefully i last a while there um and yeah it's all been great well not everything's been great because I have had I guess I've, I I mean like as great as it is and like as great as it ever, everyone's been I, I've also had like I guess kind of drama there because I love my job but like it's also very I don't know there's let's, let's just say like working is great and I'm sure like everyone who works like knows this but like it's very like can be very high school so I've already had like drama and like heard people talking about me behind my back but it's whatever um but for the most part everyone's been great and um yeah um but moral of my story is guys if if it's been hard for you to find a job especially because you, you, you have like an eligibility don't give up like I said it took me forever I've been looking for a job like since I was 16 and just and it just happened for me like at, at my age of 25 so don't give up just you know try to find you know good agencies agencies in your area and um it's not, it's not always like what you know it's who you know so if i hadn't known my friend tony and he hadn't like told me about um you know this agency then i would have never like found them or like had the chance to work with them so yeah you know just just be open on you wanting to find a job and um you know be active in your search and it'll come to you just be patient and but also you know be active be patient but be active is my is my advice and um yeah um I will I'll tell you guys more on this job later on like because to fully tell you guys on it I would have to like tell you I guess like mm, specifics but yeah that'll be another story time for later but anyways that is my video for today if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up comment below what you think um share if you find this video with your sharing and subscribe so you can make new videos i'm gonna try to be more active again i know i'm always saying that i'm sorry um but now that i don't have to hide the fact of me having a job from you guys i um i can just be more active and be more open and tell you guys all the things I can rant to you guys about my job now because oh my gosh there's been so many times by the way where like I wanted to like rant about like just things that have happened in my job like good bad drama whatever etc and 
I haven't been able to because I, I hadn't like you know like been open about my job yet and now I have so now I can rant about it to you guys so yeah oh my god okay so anyways that is my story and I'm gonna go now because I keep rambling and if I don't stop I'm gonna have like a 20 minute video for no reason so yeah okay bye <laughs>